Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and welcome to Chapter 14 on Advanced Retouching inside of Lightroom. In this first tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys basically how to completely retouch a portrait image inside of Lightroom. And you'll find that Lightroom's retouching tools are actually very, very powerful, and most of the time we really don't need to take images into Photoshop. So let's get right to it. I've selected this self-portrait that I took back in China, and I took this portrait uh, for the express purpose of this tutorial. Now, it took me a little while to finally get to this tutorial, but I took it for the purpose of a retouching tutorial because... Uh, even though every one of our clients that are coming through the studio are signing model releases, uh, I couldn't think of a single client that would be happy with us posting one of their images online and using it for a retouching tutorial, zooming in and fixing blemishes and making them look prettier and kind of touching up their shot. I think everybody would be unhappy about that. So we thought I thought we'd kind of avoid that and just uh, use a self-portrait. And plus, I know I'm a good-looking guy, but uh, there is a lot of work that needs to be done in retouching my skin, so this will give us a lot of good practice. All right, so let's get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is hit F to expand to full screen. I'm going to hit it again to go completely full screen. I should have done this on the other tutorials, but uh, sometimes I'm a little bit lazy. So, And what we're going to do is we just make sure that we have our color-corrected portrait loaded uh, in the snapshots so that we have our color-corrected settings. If you guys have any questions on how we got to this point as far as the color correction goes, just check out the uh, color correction chapter where we did color correction for portraits and skin tones. Okay, now the first tool I want to load is the spot removal tool by hitting Q. Now what I'm going to make sure is that we've set the brush to heal. Um, the size is going to vary. We're going to adjust as we are working on it, uh, so that's fine. And then the opacity needs to be at 100%. And what we're going to do is we're going to zoom into the photo, and we're going to basically just uh, heal out all these little small blemishes that are kind of noticeable. And what Lightroom is doing as we click on each one of these is it's kind of guessing on a location that, uh, that has similar skin tones. Sometimes we'll need to do a little bit of adjusting to get it in the right direction, and sometimes, most of the time, it's actually going to probably guess right. Uh, but we want to make sure that as we are adjusting it, we're kind of selecting areas of skin that have similar skin tones, uh, kind of similar pores and everything like that, so that it's doing a really accurate job of cloning. What I'm doing is I'm doing this, I'm also uh, adjusting the size of the brush with my, with my mouse scroll wheel just so I can get it slightly larger than the actual blemish itself. I want it to be each one just to be a little bit larger and kind of clone out that entire area. You want to make sure that the, uh, the area that it's cloning out doesn't get replaced with another area with a blemish um, or, you know, like I said, with darker skin tones or, or varying kind of pores. If we select this area that has smaller pores, it's going to look kind of funny over here. So we got to select kind of the area that has similar pores, similar color tones, just no blemishes. All right, now you guys can spend quite a bit of time on this. I'm going to do kind of a quick and dirty job because um, we don't want to spend too much time on this exercise alone. You guys got to get the point by now. Let's go over the nose area a little bit. Um, this is fine. It's kind of freaky looking at myself uh, this close up, actually, to be honest. All right, there's a little dot under here that I want to get removed. Luckily, I got no uh, unibrow hair going on, but if I did, I'd have to fix that. All right. Cool. The other thing we can use this uh, tool for is we can actually heal out this this bag under my eye. And this isn't the best tool for it, um, but in Lightroom, this is kind of all we got. Normally, I mean, this is a much easier thing to do inside of Photoshop. But let me show you. We can, we can actually do this multiple times and kind of heal out this area. Um, we're going to make sure we don't select an area that has a blemish again. And we're just going to kind of get this area corrected by healing all this out. So we're doing it multiple times just across this line. And then we'll make kind of some minor adjustments. I'm going to pull this over to this side just so we don't get any of these eyelashes or anything strange like that. Um, and that's good. Let's see. All right, let's check this one. This is on the right side. Now it looks like there's a little blemish here that I want to uh, also remove too. And let's get that out. So let's zoom out and let's see how it looks. I'm going to hit Q to turn off my uh, brush. And then we're going to tick check out kind of what we've done. Um, I don't see any areas that are noticeably, actually this area is a little bit noticeable. It looks like we didn't quite do a good job right here. So let me fix that up a little bit. But for the most part that should be about right. And that looks fine. And now we're going to go on. Let's actually do one thing. I showed you this trick back in when we were doing snapshots. I'm going to right click on this snapshot and we're going to save this bef uh, color corrected as the before image. That way as we're retouching we can hit backslash and compare the retouch to the color corrected version, not the uncolor corrected version of the shot. So let's hit backslash and let's look at that before. So here's the before and then here's the after. So already we can see that we've done a pretty good job of, of fixing up those blemishes. Um, there's actually one more right here. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of anal about this, but let's fix up this little area too. 
All right, good enough. Let's move on. The next thing we're going to do is create a skin softening brush. So we're going to select our brushes right here. And uh, what I want you guys to do is hold Alt, hit Reset, um, just so your settings are back to normal. And then what we're going to do is, for clarity, we want this to be a softening effect. So we want to reduce clarity. We also want to reduce sharpness by negative 50, because we want it to just soften the skin. And we're going to save this as a new preset. And you'll notice that I actually cleared my preset uh, folders, because I, th I thought I had way too many brush presets that weren't being used. So uh, just to keep it simple, I cleared it. So we'll call this the Skin Softener. Lightroom does come preloaded, I believe, with a skin softener tool, but uh, I kind of like to create my own because I like to have exact control over each one of those. Um, and what I'm going to do real quick is back when we, I'm going to close this brush menu, back when we did the color correction on this, we reduced the clarity because we weren't doing any additional work on it. And I would always recommend that if you're not doing any additional color, uh, retouching, do reduce the clarity on a, on a portrait this close because it will soften up the skin and it'll look a little better. But since we are retouching, I'm going to go the opposite direction and increase my clarity just so I can bring back some of the detail. Um, and then we are going to actually soften up the skin with our brush. So I have plus 40 to bring back some detail and now we'll soften up the, the unflattering detail. So we have our skin softener selected. I'm going to make sure my size is good. Feather I wanted 100%, flow 100% density to 100%, and then auto mask off. Make sure it's off. And then we're going to increase the size just with the mouse scroll wheel, and I'm going to paint over my entire face. Don't worry about the strength. We're going to be adjusting the strength in a second. Um, I just want to get the entire area covered, and then we're also going to paint out what we don't want covered in just a second. So after we've clicked and we've painted in, I'm going to check my mask. It's good. Now all I'm going to do is hold down Alt to bring up my subtraction brush, the eraser and we're just going to erase over areas that we don't want this effect. So I'm going to erase just kind of to clean up this mask. Just around the back side of the hair. Let's check it out now. All right, perfect. So our, we've erased out the outside. And now we're going to zoom in over like areas that we want to paint back in detail. For example, the eyebrows. We want to paint back in the detail of the eyebrows. And you can see that as we do that, we get a little more detail there again. We want to paint back the eyes. I'm going to hold down Alt, get onto this side, paint back that eye, paint back the uh, eyebrow on this side. And the same thing with the lips. We're going to paint back the lips. All right. So now I'm going to zoom out and we're going to check our mask again. And we should see the mask with the areas that we don't want softened painted out. And that's great. And now what we're going to do is adjust the actual strength. So making sure that this brush is still selected, we're going to play with the actual strength. Um, so adjusting down and up to see where kind of that sweet spot is. And I think it's right about 60 overall. And let's play with our sharpness too. I don't want it to be too soft because it's going to be really noticeable. So I want it to be on negative 43. And what we can do is over the forehead area, there's a little bit more blemishes. Over this cheek area, we have a little bit more, um, oops, sorry, I'm going to undo that brush stroke. We have a little bit more um, highlights in this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit New. And we're just going to soften this area just a little bit more over the forehead. And same thing right over this cheekbone area. I'm just going to soften a little bit more. Um, we'll, we'll make sure that we're not covering the beard because beards kind of look, they tend to look a little bit funny. Or this isn't really a beard, but my little 5 o'clock shadow. It tends to look a little bit funny if it's softened too much. I'm going to pull this effect up a little bit so it's not too much. And that's great. So let's go back to our before. Here's our before. Now here's our softened and fixed blemish after. And that looks good. Now what we're going to do is work on the eyes. So I'm going to go back to my adjustment brush. We're going to create another adjustment brush. And this is going to be uh, for brightening up eyes and kind of eye detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Alt, hit Reset. Again, Lightroom does have an eye enhancing brush, but we want to kind of create our own so we have exact control. So I'm going to go Exposure plus 0.2. We're going to do Contrast plus, we'll say plus 20. Again, we're going to adjust the strength with each individual photo. This is kind of just a base. We're going to do a little bit of saturation. Normally I would create a couple different brushes because some brushes I don't want, like I'll have an eye enhancing brush that doesn't increase saturation because some eyes already have tons of color in them. I'm going to increase clarity a little bit. One thing I want to be careful with clarity and sharpness is if eyes have uh, red lines like this, it, clarity is just going to enhance those lines and bring them out more. So we want to be careful with that. Okay, so now we have our brush selected. I'm going to save this. Current setting is a new preset. We'll call this the eye enhancing brush and now we're just going to paint over this eye area 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt and just kind of paint over the outside to make sure I didn't kind of get any of the uh, eyelid area. And then we're going to go again to the right, right side, do the same thing on the right side. And we're going to paint out the area that we don't want covered. I'm going to make sure that we've done a good job painting. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom out because you need to zoom out to actually be able to tell if the strength is good. So let's play with the strength of the exposure a little bit. I think that's way too high. We don't want our eyes to be looking like they're glowing. So I'm going to adjust it down a little bit, maybe contrast up a tiny bit. And that's about good right there. Oops, contrast isn't moving. There we go. That's about good. All right. Now, you'll notice on some eyes that there's actually halos, like I have a halo in my eye right there. We can actually do a pretty decent job of correcting this. Um, what we're going to do is just create a new adjustment brush. You don't need to create a preset for this because you probably won't be doing this that much. But I'm going to reset this setting, and what we're going to do is just kind of darken this, uh, this halo a little bit. So I'm going to reduce my exposure, um, just increase the contrast a little bit to bring back the contrast on that side. And I'm just going to paint around the outside halo a little bit. And then we're going to remove it from the actual white of the eye because I don't want the white to be covered at all. All right. I also don't want the inside to be covered, so I'm going to remove it from the inside a little bit. And we're going to tweak it just to kind of adjust that halo so it's a little bit darker. We're not going to get rid of it completely inside of Lightroom um, just because it's going to be kind of uh, difficult to do inside of Lightroom. If we wanted to get rid of it completely, we want to go into Photoshop, but we can kind of minimize it. So it looks good on that side. We're going to uh, also darken the contrast on this side because that eye on this side looks a little bit too uh, too light. So I want to darken it up just a little bit, a little bit more contrast on that side. And that looks about right. That looks pretty good. Now if I notice that my eyes are a little bit too bright, I can pull it down just a little bit. I think it's just a tiny bit on the bright side. So let me find that uh, adjustment brush. I'm going to pull it down just a tiny bit so that it's not quite so bright. That's about right, guys. Let's check out our before. There's our before image. Here's our after. We can see we've kind of touched up a lot. We've done a great job of smoothing out the skin. And it's a really big difference from that original image. Alrighty guys, so let's save this as a retouched portrait for our snapshot. We're going to hit enter. And we're done guys. Great job.